Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where we today are going to talk about a very frequent question that is discussed and argued uh, a lot in social media that is uh, the foundation of many horrific events uh, throughout the history. The question if the Yazidi Kurds are devil worshippers. There is a very easy explanation for this uh, accusation and for the foundation of, of, this, of a story which this accusation is based on and today we're gonna go through all of it. So before we start, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel. So before we go into the story itself and the accusation itself, we're going to talk a little bit, a uh, very short while about who the Ezidi Kurds are. Now the Ezidi Kurds is a part of the Kurdish people who belongs to the Kurdish faith Ezidism. This ancient religion is one of the few origin religions of the Kurds. The Ezidi Kurds have in particular been victims of mass genocides, killings, following and a lot of bad stuff and the background behind why this has happened to them is based on this accusation that they are devil worshippers but what is the reality the whole concept of being devil worshippers comes from a story in Ezidism that is kind of like another story in Islam in the Ezidi faith of creation Taus Melek refused to bow to Adam when God ordered the seven angels to do so. This command was actually a test, meant to determine which angel was the most loyal to God by not prostrating themselves to someone other than their creator and by obeying God's original command that they do not bow to any other being. So basically within Yezidism you're not allowed to bow or worship other things than God itself. And by getting this order out to the angel, God tested them to see if they would go against the original order or not. Now, there is a parallel between this story and a story within Islamic belief. In this story, in the Quran, we talk about uh, Iblis and God. Now, Iblis is the same thing as the devil in uh, Islamic belief. And the story here is that God made the same order to Iblis for bowing to Adam, but Iblis refused to do so, thereby going against uh, God's orders, which is um, a big, big uh, sin within Islam. So what has happened here is that Muslims and other followers of Abrahamic religion have erroneously associated Taus Melek with their own conception of the evil spirit. This misconception has led to that Ezidis have been wrongly accused for being devil worshippers, even though they in reality worship God and believe in a God. As a consequence, the Ezidis is one of Middle East's most vulnerable and attacked people in history. They have faced counts and counts of genocides and attacks from, you know, Turks, Arabs and even Sunni Kurds throughout the history. Not at least in the latest attack against the Shingal region where the Islamic State made another genocide against the Kurds and against the Yazidi people, killing thousands of Yazidis in these horrific acts of genocide. Now back to the question, is the Yazidi Kurds a uh, devil worshipping people or not? The answer is no, they are not devil worshippers. They believe in one God and they believe in a God that is very much alike other gods in the Abrahamic religions. But the similar stories has opened up for a discussion of whether they are devil worshippers. And this is something that needs to be said in order to educate people even more. Now that's it for this video. If you want a 
full documentary about the Yezidi people where we go through everything regarding this minority group of the Kurds. Let me know in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell as well so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.